The following is being presented by EA Game Changers. Hi guys, Samantha here. Welcome back to my channel and another look at The Sims 4 Realm of Magic. And we are finally about to get into the world and check out the Bill Buy mode. I have my little Sim down here. I think her name is Eloise. Honestly, I just I just randomized her name real quick. I did notice one thing. I'm gonna mention this and I apologize um, for my cast video. I was critical of the earrings and part of the reason why was because I felt like we should have had the same earring on both sides or an option to have one of each or one of the same, if that makes any sense. And I also complained about the color of the earring and I forgot to go through the swatches. So if you go through the swatches, there are options where there's not a mixed color of metals. There's all black with like red accents. There's all like a rose gold. So the one that I showed you guys had the silver with the gold and it annoyed me because I can't stand mixing metals. And I know I've mentioned this before. Anyway, so for that reason, I apologize for not giving you guys accurate information. If you feel like me when it comes to um, mixing of the metals. So uh, anyway, and so there's plenty of uh, options there. I don't still like the fact that it's two different earrings, but I could deal with it being that at least I don't have to mix my metals as well as having mismatched earrings. Anyway, we are into the select the world to move into screen because I don't know what else to call it. And we do have a new world. It is called Glimmer Brook. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful from the screen here, which is what I was going to say. I already clicked on it earlier, but I like how they did this with this. But then when you go into it, there's only three lots um, and you can't. Well, oh, sorry, there's four lots. Uh, so there's one here that actually has some Sims already living here, one here, and then there's a bar. And then of course there's one uh, actual lot here. So here the world looks absolutely stunning um, just based off of the brooks and the little sparkliness and everything like that. But it feels like, I mean, I know this is a game pack. So the fact that we got another world is awesome. Normally with game packs, like we got Magnolia Promenade, that was a game pack. We got the four lots. Um, Vampires was also a game pack and we got, uh, well, we got five lots with game with that one. Um, but you know, when we do have game packs versus expansion packs, um, you know, we normally don't get, I think that was it, right? Was Windenburg an expansion? Yeah, everything else was expansion packs or we got it with the, the game outright. So just keep in mind, it is a game pack. So you're not going to have like a whole bunch of uh, lots. So we only have these four right here. And then I'm assuming somewhere on this main world right here, there'll actually be a lot to show us, um, how to get to the the realm, you know, the actual ma magical place of so to speak. So anyway, let's just go ahead and purchase this just for the sake of getting in the game. And then we can go check out the build by mode items. All right, guys, here we are at the lot and just off the top of the, I guess the point of the map in build by mode, you can kind of see like some of the world it looks very foresty. It's very pretty though. I like the way that the book, the brook is kind of like having this little babbling look to it. Does that make any sense? Like when you know when they say babbling brooks, that's the first thought I got was, oh, they have babbling brooks. Anyway, I like the little bridges and stuff. It looks very, um, mysterious let's put it that way like i can't wait to see what mysteries and stuff are <laughs> are here in the world but anyway we're going to get into afternoon so we can get some light we're just going to kind of plop right here and go check out some of these build by mode items trying to get us like a good amount of light here so uh off top we got the mind's eye twin bed which is right here and we could toggle through some of the swatches very nice uh then we have a queen size or like a king size but oh whoa <gasps> this one is beautiful i love the top with the stained glass ah. all right here go the colors absolutely amazing oh i love this bit okay then we have the uh, poseidon's armchair Ooh, why poseidon i don't know what is Pose oh i didn't mean to buy that what does poseidon mean though comes in these color swatches here in poseidon like the um doesn't surface much but when he does a seashell carved chair okay seashell carved chair i was thinking water but then i was thinking lightning so i don't know what i was thinking anyway so here's the colors of a dining room table chair um it's called born to boogie the funkenstein collection okay funkenstein collection born to boogie okay then we got the ludini instead of houdini seance chair okay very nice uh then we have a pub perch which is like a stool um okay well, i was about to say for a second looks like it's floating up in the air like where do they do that at all right then we got this one here the far-sighted davenport 
very nice hopefully you guys can kind of see the colors because for some reason okay there we go I'm trying to get to a part where we can see them good there we go all right so then we got this here and then we have the on the wings of love seat wow my mind immediately went to on the wings of love do, 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 I don't, I don't know all the words though, because it's a song that's probably before my time. I think I know I've heard it before, but probably because it's been in movies. But anyway, as soon as I saw that, I was like, as soon as I saw that, I was just like, oh, from that song. Okay, anyway, um, on the wings of love seat. <laughs> And then we have the hardest seat to sit on, which is just a concrete uh, bench, uh, so to speak. Uh, we did get the iron counter, which I guess is like a kitchen thingy. We are not responsible for anything odd happening to anything that gets placed on it, though. Spe specifically, if it's made with fire and plasma. Ooh, but look at the counter, though. Look at the counter. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, yes, I love this. Y'all, we needed some more like multi counter topped areas. I like that. Anyway, then we got an island here. Same colors. And of course, as you guys know, if you always open this up, you probably have more options too, as far as the side and all that stuff goes. I love when we get kitchen counters because you could really kind of like mix and match stuff. And then with the islands, it's probably the same thing. Do we have one with like a little shelf? Okay, we just got that. Okay. Pretty much the same thing, just orientations of it. Then we got the little rounder pieces, got the corner, and then we got this edge over here. So that's lovely. Uh, then we got the Magical Gathering Seance Table. Oof. That's interesting. I do like this. It's kind of weird, though, because it's giving me like this... I don't know. It's giving me like this vibe. I don't know how to... Okay, it's different orient, like different colors, different little patterns or whatever. That's kind of cool. I do like this one. Okay. And then we have the magical mystery table here. Ooh, it's got some branches and moons maybe or something like that. And then we have the Feta Morgana table. I'm saying Morgana because I'm thinking of Persona, but it might be Morgana. It's probably Morgana though. And it's like a little coffee table. Then we have a Will of Wisp desk. Ooh, that must go with the little fairy feel when he says Will of Wisp. Uh, then we have this here, which is a luxurious Lux wand display. <gasps> we could actually put our, but why would you want to display your wand? Like if you were trying to be secretive about the fact that you were a sorcerer or a witch, wouldn't you want your wand to be in secret? Uh, anyway, then we got this one right here. Um, I like this one as well. It's like a little curio case. Okay. I just remembered something. So pause for just a second, guys. I'm going to go over here and show you my sim real quick. Um, she's over here. I meant to tell you this one. I was going in cast to give her like her little outfit just to get in the game. This hairstyle right here is the guy hairstyle. Isn't it absolutely stunning on her as a girl sim? I mean, it's stunning as the guys too, but you know how sometimes they'll give us hairstyles that go for the guys and the ladies at the same time? Why they didn't offer this one for us? I mean, I know you could just click off the little feminine and get the masculine hair, it's no big deal. But I was like, this hairstyle is really cute on her. Anyway, um, the makeup and everything is just, oh, I love it. I didn't like this mascara at first, but absolutely love it. And then if you guys can see her earrings right now, she has the, oh, oh, she has the black and it's all black. Over here, though, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see it good because of her hair, but it's also all black over here. So those are the different swatches. But anyway, uh, just that came in my mind because I was like, I forgot to tell you guys that don't forget every once in a while, if you get a hairstyle you love for the guys, you want to see how it looks on the ladies, toggle off that masculine feminine and go for it. You know, same thing with the guys. If you see a hairstyle for the ladies, you want to give it to the guys, just toggle that off and then boom, you got it. So anyway, I think outside the box sometimes with the Sims, you do. Um, so anyway, got the Abra Table. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the Abraca table. The Abraca table. All right, and then we got the Hera's Peacock Sink. Okay, which looks like, ooh, a peacock. Wait, hold on, guys, a peacock? Nice, all right, and then we got the Portal Potty. Okay, Portal, not Porter. Wait, Porter, Porter, Portable, portable Talk, Portable, Porter, Porter Potty? Porter Potty. Portal Potty. See, I got confused for a second. I was thinking like Porter Potty, but Portal Potty. I wonder how they sit around. I swear, if one of these days, I know you guys will never watch it, EA slash Maxis, but if one of these days you want to invite some game changers to sit at a roundtable discussion, I want to see how you guys come up with these names because they're, they, they tickle me. I'm not going to even lie. I just want to see <laughs> how y'all decide to sit around and come up with the clothes and the names of these uh, items because I, 
<laughs> Ludini's Chamber of Sprinkles. I just, I, I'm just curious. At the start of his career, average illusionist Larry Ludini, instead of Harry Houdini, known as the OK Ludini, had an idea for a magic trick he knew would catapult him to instant celebrity. He, ooh, get famous and magicians at the same time. Anyway, he eagerly began construction of water-filled steel and glass tank. Inside the tank, he would be shackled and suspended upside down. So is this... Okay, so it has a hygiene, a stress relief, a discomfort, and a reliability level. So I'm assuming this is a shower. Sprinkles. That makes sense. Chamber of sprinkles. Okay, but, <coughs> excuse me. Before his first performance, he added sliding doors. Okay, so this is a shower. All right, I just wanted to make sure. First, I was just like, what is this? I didn't know what it was. I was so busy looking at the swatches, I couldn't even pay attention. Anyway, then we got the Paramount Cauldron, which goes without saying. It's a cauldron, okay? So that's probably where they do their spells and stuff. It comes in these different colors. Then we have this, ooh, snazzier one. They always give us like a base level, like great value, and then they give us like that brand, that brand. Ooh, this one got like stones underneath it as opposed to wood. What kind of stones are those? That's the snazzy ones. All right, then we got the don't open that jar bar. Yeah, because if you open that jar, that jar might release some 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 spirits or might release some some magic of some sort. I don't know. Anyway, then we have um, the science of magic print series. Okay, this needs to go on the wall. Uh, let's see what it is real quick. All right, let's get in here. We got frog, butterfly, dragonfly, and some type of um, tree of some sort. Okay. Oh, comes in different colors and different prints. Ooh, these are nice. I like these guys. These are nice. Okay. Alrighty. Then we got this one here, the Spellcaster Scheduler. So you could uh, figure out, I guess, when you're going. Ooh. Ooh, I like, I like, I like. All right. Then we got a, a mirror here, the Town Sire Mirror. Okay. I like this one as well very pretty okay and then we have the mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest one of all nice okay i like this one too uh then we got some curtains we got the sprightly curtains here so i'll just put this outside on the window just to show you guys can it go up some yes it can okay that's really pretty and then we have the double one here which will probably go like on this window this is actually really good because I don't ever really do this at a house. Normally I do this like on an open field, but since I wanted to come into the world, this comes in handy doing it on a house. Then you got this one here, which is the Titania's Curtains. Okay, probably butchering that, but it's okay. Uh, this one has like more of a curved look versus this one. It's more of a, a square curved, like a rounded curve. This one's more like a circular curve. And then we have um, the Enchanting Awning. Okay, this probably go over a single. Ooh, very nice. So you can put that on the outside. Oh, I like that. Okay. Um, all right. And then we got a uh, relentless rugs of repetitiveness. So I'm going to assume these are one of those build your own rug type things. And it is. So you could probably put, uh, let's just pick a swatch this one. And then we can go over. Actually, let's, well, yeah, let's just do that. And then you can pick the next one that looks like uh, the path. Here we go. And then you can keep doing it until you finally figure out how long you want your rug to be. I like when they give us things like this because you can kind of build your own rug and kind of just like do it how you want to do it as opposed to just dealing with what they give you. I'm almost tempted to, oh, I did it again. I meant to make this one. Hold on, let's make this one uh, like, uh, no, oh, there's not, not an end. Oh, you know what you probably have to do? Maybe rotate it. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, you probably have to rotate it. I was thinking like, where's the end at? But you know, you probably just rotate it like this and then uh, make it the end right there. There we go. Um, so I'm curious, like if you put them, you can't put them side by side, but you could totally do them. That's not bad though. I like that. I like when they do stuff like that, y'all. I, I think they did that again with vampire stuff. Was that the other one that we got that had like a, um, like a multitude of, uh, of length that you you no that was uh get famous i think either way you got you guys know what i mean but anyway so we got the circular rug here ooh with the moon cycles and stuff then we got this one here oh wait tapestry to nowhere okay it's got like some illuminati triangles and whatnot on it kind of got this weird seance -y type feel like do people sit on the corners and kind of call forth the spirits. I don't know. Anyway, Crystal Garden Hearth, which is like a fire. Ooh, y'all look at the stones down there. As opposed to wood, it's got those pretty stones. Mmm, that is so pretty. Why did I have to go? Mmm, like it was delicious. I was like, mmm, mmm, <laughs> that's delicious. Uh, all right, and then we got um, dryer, dryer, plants, dryer. 
Okay, some little hanging. Because you know what? Some some spells do require like certain plants. So you could put a dabble of this and a dash of that, you know. Uh, we got the antique working scale. While it's missing the numbers to measure, this scale is still in mint working condition. Take a leap and use it for recipes, potions, and whatever you please. This is like just an environment piece. It doesn't really have like any other function besides you get a one environment, but it's like a little scale. It's really nice. I like this. That's cute. Uh, then we got a mystical reservoir, which looks like a fountain. Oh, it is a fountain rather. Very pretty. Ooh, okay. And then we have the incantation. I'm not gonna even try to say that, but has this ever happened to you? You've cast your circle, the candles are set, your sacred altar is ready, but wait, where's the incantation? This beautiful and functional piece of furniture displays your incantation sheets so you'll never lose them again. All right, okay, so here go your incant. Ooh. Hold on, y'all. Get, get close. Get, get a little closer. There you go. They got butterflies and stuff in there. Flowers. A little torn paper. All right. Then we have the classic apoth mm, apothecary. Apothecary. Whatever. We got the cabinet. It's got a couple options and stuff in there as well. Love that. And then we have the antique spellcaster bassinet. <gasps> Ooh. So you can have a magical baby because our babies are kind of like objects right now But in order to have them separated from a bassinet you have to have a mod So the fact that they gave us a bassinet makes me wonder It's trying to get in touch with their magical powers Huh, could you have a magical baby that'll just spawn like when you have the baby and you go back home The baby will spawn in this bassinet. It's interesting. I'd be curious to know that's interesting. All right, then we have this crystal of, uh, what's it called? Crystal of the air. Um, this one says, beautiful bassinet is in very good, wait, another, oh, oh wrong thing, I'm sorry. Uh, for spellcasters looking to purify the air in their home. Ooh, so it's kind of like an incense, but something else, it's more like crystal base. Uh, then we have the uh, Ayana Knot Torch. Ayana Knot, like, ooh. Okay, that's flowers. I was like, is that sparkles? Like. I was like, is that spark? Is that glitter on the ground, y'all? Is that glitter? Anyway, all right, so we got this here. It doesn't really have, is it, is it a torch? Okay, so do you light it? Hmm, okay. Uh, then we got the orb torch here. All righty. And then we have the light of Maracena. Okay, let's put this. Oh, this thing is huge. Okay, all right. Um, psh, I guess let me get rid of this and then we'll try to put it here. Oh gosh, it is huge. Hold on, y'all. Let's see it inside the house. Oh, of course I can't see it because I'm not in tab mode, but it's it's a fairly big light. I feel like if you were doing like a library or like a wizardry house with like taller ceilings, it would make sense. But in here, it kind of like overpowers um, the house there. So anyway, there is that one. Then we have the totally lit bug lights. All right, so it looks like a bug of some sort with wings. Comes in different colors. I do like this though. This is really cute. All right, then we got this one here, the sconce for little light. Beautiful. And then we have the kitchen witch stove. Ooh, like a little nice old antique-ish wrought iron type stove. Maybe not wrought iron, but definitely like a metal-y type antique stove. Uh, then we got the mandrake bookshelf. Comes in the different wood colors, a couple of different trim options. And then we have the Spellbound bookcase, again, probably with different woods and a couple trim options. Uh, then the dresser of divination or divination or divinit. Okay, I swear I went to school, y'all, graduated from high school. I actually graduated with a 3.6 from high school, which has been horrible, but I went to a college prep school, so that's saying a lot. And then I graduated from college with like a 3.9. I could have been, well, I, yeah, I, I was up there. I was like number 10 in class, I think, in my graduating class. Either way, so I'm super smart. I pat myself on the back for my accomplishments. And um, even though it took me a little bit longer than usual to get out of college, I did get out eventually, at least I strived for it. And I wanna go get my master's eventually. So why in the world I can't pronounce stuff is beyond me. Anyway, I don't talk enough maybe, but I talk all the time. Uh, spill the tea leaves dresser, all right. And we also have a starter magical plant set. And then we have the 30 day Glimmerbrook fridge. My wife says haunted. Personally, I don't really care what you call it. All I know is that over the past 30 days, every time I open my Glimmerbrook fridge, all my stuff seems to have been moved around. In fact, I think someone swiped the other half of my haggis and cheese sandwich. Haggis? 
Is that like another word for bread? Um, anyway, uh, cause I'm thinking bread and cheese. Anyway, like a grilled cheese. Who does that? Far be it for me to judge, but making a guy Sammy and disappear from the fridge, that just gives me the shivers. Okay, let's check it out. Ooh, oh wow. That is a stunning. Ooh, okay, very, very nice. All right, so that's all we have for the buy mode. Let's go check out the build mode stuff. And this is where it's gonna get confusing because I swear no matter how many times I do videos like this, I still get confused with how to show off what, and I know I'm probably gonna miss some things, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. So let me just go ahead and put the roof up here. See if we got any new roofs since we're at the top right now. No new roof coloring, uh, no new roof options, no new chimneys or anything like that. Did we get any, no new um, edges or whatever you call these little thingies? Did we get any new, no new of those either. All right, we're just gonna work our way down. Did we get any new trees? No new trees, rocks or anything like that. Um, we did get this, which we already saw but nothing else as far as water stuff goes. I probably not any new terrain or anything like that. Yeah. Um, probably we did all this, didn't we? Yeah. None of that. All right. So let's just go in and go into, um, the, the wall options. All right. Let's go check these out real quick. We have this one here, the enchanting dainty daisy. Let's go. I could go ahead and put this back down since we're not guess we'll try it in this room right here just kind of check it out so that is that one right there hopefully we didn't wait y'all okay I can't there we go I'm trying to get in here so I could tilt it a little bit and let you guys see all right so there's that one right there with like it's like a little wallpaper with like a little wood actually no let's do it out here so I can see it better um like a little wood thingy at the bottom like a little wood part at the bottom very nice I like that um that's actually really pretty comes in ooh, a lot of colors very nice I like the details in this one this one's nice. I want to see the red and okay, yeah, okay. And then we have this spell binding, bind, woo, spell binding tile. I swear I have not been talking all day, y'all. I swear I haven't. Anyway, so this one comes in a bunch of different options too. I like that one. I love this color. Is that crows or like a bird? Uh, then we have the venerable brick, which is out here now. It looks like it's got different colors here, which is that one. Uh, got a darker color. Very nice. I actually like this brick. We, I've always said we needed more brick. This one's really nice. Um, and then we have this one here, the Magnificent Brick. This one's a little bit more expensive, but it has a trim on the edges and at the bottom. Okay, is there like darker? Ooh, there's darker ones too. Ooh, I like this one. Very nice. Okay, I like the, ooh, I really like the blue, y'all. It's different. Ooh, that's cute. All right, so that's all we got for the wall. Uh, let's go ahead and do the floor since I'm here at the floors. Oh, floors. All right, here we go. All, all. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got a couple new floors. I'll just do it out here for you. Oh, can I do Okay, I guess I'll do it like this. I'll just do it like this. We got the um, bewitching wood. All right, which is kind of nice. Come, let's see what colors it comes in. Oh, can't do it like that. Okay, uh, it comes in a black, a gray, like a gray color, a brown. A white ooh, looks like a kitchen tile almost like I like the fact that it's different like it's every alternating so it looks different it looks like a design probably when it's not even like supposed to be but it looks like one if that makes any sense I like that y'all very very nice ooh I really like this one too all right and then we have this art arsiform cobblestone I probably am butchering that too <laughs> Ooh, I like okay now question what if I wanted to do like a, I can't rotate it. Hold on y'all. Can I rotate it? Oh, I can. I can. So you could do like a whole, wait, can you? Dang it. I was hoping that you could do like a whole circular pattern. You might can. Hold on. I don't know why I feel the need to do this right now. But if you figure out a way to like, you can't do this on the corner though. If I alt it and rotate it, nope, you can't. All right, well, you guys get the picture. I was thinking maybe you could do like a little circular pattern. That would be really cool. Like if you do a circle pattern in the middle and make everything go out to the edges, that'd be really cool. Um, but anyway, so that's this one here. Nice, you could do alternating colors though. That might be kind of different. Anyway, so there is that one right there. I'm just gonna go on and delete that so we can get that off the floor, the ground here. Did we get no new, okay, so just two new floors, which isn't bad. Um, did we get any new stairs? Uh, no new stairs, which is kind of interesting because we just got the stair update. So i um, surprised they didn't give us any new stairs. We did get new railing. We got far away, no, fay away stair rail. Fay away? Fay away? 
kind of confusing sound to <laughs> fade away. We're just gonna fade away here. All right, so this one got like a little rod iron look to it. Very nice, it comes in different. Ooh, that's really snazzy. I'm surprised it didn't give us more stairs. Okay, uh, new fence style. So let's go check these out real quick. We got this one here and then we got, I'm gonna put this one behind because it's a little bit taller. Ooh, very pretty. Comes in different colors as well. Like that, like a gray. Um, ooh, y'all, these are pretty. I like these. All right, let's see what else we got. I like those. All right, let's undo, 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 undo. <laughs> I don't, oh, I actually, I cheated her money. I was about to say, I don't know how much money she got, so I don't want to go too crazy. Uh, so we got that. Did we get any new windows? We did get new windows. We got, which probably is on the house right here. Yes, yeah, so we got this one here, which is similar to this. Oh, no, this one's bigger. <gasps> this one's bigger. Oh, guys, I want to see it in action. All right, let's get rid of this. Oh, this is three different windows. Okay. All right, my bad. So you got this one here. Comes oh, not only different colors, but different swatches all together. We got stain, right? Um, what you call this? Gla um, stained glass. Can't talk. Uh, and then we got like a little wooden wrought iron type look too. And then we just got plain Jane center in the middle. No biggie with that one. I like that one. Uh, the same thing with the little side windows. You can make your own little, I guess, stained glass stain one. And then in the middle, I guess you could do. Is there one that goes with that? Kind of. Is there a yellow blue one or no? There's not a yellow blue one, so maybe that one doesn't go with that one. Maybe this one. Oh, this one probably does because it matches. Ooh, then you can make your own. But then when it goes to this one, I guess you'd have to flip it. You probably have to flip it and do it on the other side, which we would just come on this side and do. I think. I think we can do it that way. Let's see. Curious. Wait, no, we can't. Do I have to flip it? Flip it. There we go. And then we can go back and forth and make a whole stained glass look. Ooh, I wonder in the, in the inside when the light shines through it, the colors probably look so pretty when they does that. Uh, so we got that there. And then we have the window of opportunity, uh, which is that one. We just looked at that one. Then we have a circular one, divine porthole window. Pretty. Does it come in a rod? Oh, not, why do you want to call this rod iron the stained glass? So if you had like a nice on, like a nice um, roof line, you could probably put this in the corner. If you know what I'm saying, like if the roof kind of went up in a triangle, you could put that in the corner like on the inside, that'd be really pretty. That'd be really pretty. All right, and then we have this one here, which is the Banished Soul window. It's a little bit bigger, and I'm sure it comes with the same colors and options. Very nice, love it. All right, and then for the doors, we got some new doors too. We got a bunch of new doors. All right, let's do this because I feel like I'm running out of space trying to keep things on this little house. Uh, all right, so let's go here and go back to the doors. So we got this one here. Just like a regular wooden door but it's really pretty then we got this one here it's got like a little bit of stone with wood and stained glass options i like this stained glass oh then we got this one stained glass oh with stained glass so wood stone and stained glass y'all beautiful all right then we got this one here which is a singular one versus the i guess the three one well this one's be more like two uh then we got this one here it's very snazzy looks like the wall is like a little i mean the door is like a little bit shorter <laughs> that's funny it's not as tall as the other one like this one well maybe maybe so yeah this one seems like it sits up taller and this one's like really short uh then we have a doorway which is beautiful it has like that same little portal kind of glass feel to it oh that is gorgeous um all right so did we get any more okay so we did get a little bit of uh we got this one we saw already the awning then we got the bewitchingly wicked balcony really nice y'all okay they have been really killing it lately with the build by mode like if you're a builder the stuff they've been coming up with lately has been amazing like i i'm even like and i don't really because i like to build but you know not all the time do i like to build you know so it's nice that if i get in the mood to build like if we could ever come across a pack that makes me want to build then it's just kind of like wow um okay anyway so we got these right here these little uh stone i can what do you call it columns uh, and they come in different color options as well. And then I was going to go look at the gate real quick. I, that's why I placed that fence down. So here go the gate. This one's a little bit taller than that fence, but you could use it with the other fence. And I like the fact it has like this little asymmetrical like curve right here. That's really pretty. I like that. That is really pretty. Okay, so we got that. Uh, anything else do we have at this particular point? Um, I think... I want to say that is it, which it's jam packed full of a lot of nice things. I just want to make sure I hit everything. I guess real quick, we'll take a look at the, um, 
at the uh what you call it rooms hold on a second the i'm gonna get rid of this real quick so we can have some space all right so then we have the alchemist what is this alchemist scullery oh i don't even know how to pronounce that y'all but if we buy the room put it here so we can just kind of like check a look at some of the stuff that we've gotten um just based on that you got the cauldron in the middle you got the wand stand you got the thing that dries out the plants we got the new countertops i love how they did this with the little curved area here you got your stay or your scale um okay i'm not even sure what this is spice of life spice rack that might have been with another pack okay so you can light these they kind of like float with the lights at the top of course you got your refrigerator oh got a crazy looking gnome right there and we didn't get any new sinks which surprisingly um but you got your new stove and your new refrigerator then you got your table oh we got a the intern all right and that's really nice and then we got um and then we have this one here that's a bedroom here okay and this one is really nice as well sorry about that guys my son's home for lunch okay so this one comes with the bassinet and it comes with this pretty bed this one okay so i just like to kind of see how they do things make sure we're not missing anything Ooh, what's this what is this uh oh okay whatever okay there it goes the viney what is this viney league in case scrolls that's nice all right and then we have ooh. wait hold on y'all why is it like a blue orby thingy shining what is that okay we got to check and see what that is eventually all right so then you got that one there and then we have the wizard's lair let's go ahead and get that one of course you know they come in different colors we'll try a different one this time let's try that one this one of course got those big old beautiful circular windows and we got ooh, we got all sorts of creepy stuff right here y'all we got this hand i don't even know what this is a hand reference model Ooh, that is creepy all right then we got the fireplace with the pretty stones in it the bookshelf um, this is just a regular light. I think we just got this with base game, but this desk is intriguing me because it has this weird blue foamy stuff, not foamy, but like Orby type stuff right there. So that's kind of interesting. So we got that one. And then last but not least, we got the summoner's nook. Let's go ahead and grab that one. And oh, this is like an outdoor space where they can sit outside and do some of their sorcery and wizardry and things of that nature. So very, very nice, y'all. This one is definitely a different type pack. I, I give them that. So what I want to do is I'm going to go to end this video. I do want to do a little bit of gameplay. So I think what I'm going to do is get ready to set up for a live stream so we can go check this out in game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the videos. Uh, don't forget to love, thumbs up the video. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think about everything. And also don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.